Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a classroom in Microsoft Teams so that you can take online lectures. We need two important things for this process. We need the list of email IDs of all the students and we need to add that to the particular subject which you are going to teach. So let's have a look at what we have in hand. We have here is the list of students which are divided year wise so you can have a look at the first year second year third year and final year in the background what we have done is we have created all these student IDs joined together as a single ID so if you look at these distribution groups that we have created we have created the first year distribution group as this particular email ID. So if I type this particular email ID, all the 107 students who are there in the first year list here will be included in our list. So let's go ahead to Microsoft Teams and have a look at how this process is done. The interface of Microsoft Teams has lot of tabs on the left hand side. When you click on the tab called Teams, you can see an interface like this. As you can see, I already have two Teams. On the right top corner, you can see a button called as Join or Create Team. You click on that and you have four tabs that show up. The first one is Create a Team. So you click on the tab Create Team. It asks you what type of team are you creating. I'm creating a classroom for discussion and projects. So I click on class. In the class, it asks me to give a name. So it is easier for me to type in first year BDS. And in the bracket, I would like to mention which batch of students are these. Also, I will write the subject. which I'm going to teach. Once you click next, it starts creating the team by asking you to enter the list of students and teachers. Here, it is asking me the list of students. So I go back to my distribution list and the first year student list is teams underscore mcots underscore bds2019 at manipal.edu. I copy it and paste it here. As soon as I paste it here, it searches its database and shows you that yes, it exists. You click on that and say add. It asks you a permission whether you want to add 107 members. You put a tick over there and this adds up all the 107 members. Since you have created this particular team, you are already a teacher. You need not add another teacher. But in case you want some other coordinators in your department, you can add their names by searching their respective email IDs here. So once you added the students, you click on close. Your team is already created. And it shows me that my team is called First BDS 2019 Oral Histology. And when I go to manage team, you can see that I am the owner of the team, that is the teacher. And if I click on the members, there are 107 members in my list who can be seen as this list of students. This is how you create. Let's quickly go back and create another team for the next year. So you start with join or create team. You click on create team. You click on class. You give a name for the class. In this case, I'm going to create third BDS which is my 2017 batch and I'm going to teach them oral pathology and I click next it will ask me the student ID which I am going to pick up from my distribution list and my distribution list shows this is the email ID I copy that email ID go back to the theme and then I may paste it at the place where it is asking me to paste once it prompts you to add the list of students, you paste the ID there. 
and it shows that yes such an ID exists click on that and say add it starts getting the number of members and it will ask for a confirmation whether to add all the members so here it is asking me whether it should add 81 members I confirm it it is adding the list of 81 members and say close that will create a list of third BDS class so when you go to teams here now you can see there are two classes which are added one for my first BDS one for my third BDS so every faculty member of M Chords Mangalore will have to create this particular section in their respective team in the next video I will demonstrate how to schedule a class and go ahead in conducting that. Thank you.